Hello and a very warm welcome. Season ratings for the 22 season. We crown Red Bull drivers and constructors champion as Ferrari bottled it big time. Yeah, we're going to cover every driver like we do on driver ratings. But this is season ratings. And yeah, all 20 drivers covered as we rate them out of 10 for their season. We jump into Max. We may as well start with a champion, 10. Champion, two-time champion, age of 25, 15 wins, a dominant season, a league of one. And it, in the end, it was quite easy for him. Um, yeah, I believe we're seeing the Max era. And yeah, I mean, 15 wins in a season, that's impressive. Um, epic drives at Spa, dominance. And then we've seen the other side to Max. Of the shithousery of Brazil. But yeah. Deserving champion. If he stays longevity. He will break every record there is. Sergio Perez 7. So. Yeah he kind of bottled. Uh, P2 in the drivers. He finished third in the drivers. He is a number 2. He knows what he is. Uh, he's helped Max all season. To be then shafted in the arse at Brazil. I would have serious doubts about my future and there's rumours coming out that he could be sacked which could spice things up but yeah he's helped Max and then I would have serious doubts with the people I'm working with. His highlight was a win in Monaco. Charles Leclerc 8. He finished second in the title. Very strong car but bad strategies and bad mistakes. Cost Ferrari dearly. A couple of wins, a very strong start to the season by Charles. Yeah, Ferrari were looking serious contenders. But then you think back to Spain. That's a critical turning point. Dominating that race, Charles Leclerc. Retirement. You think to Baku, I believe they had a double DNF there. You think of France when he was in the lead and he went off. Yeah. They need a serious shake-up at Scuderia. Carlos Sainz, 7. He finishes 5th in the title, 246 points. His highlight will be the win at Silverstone. He's a solid driver, Carlos Sainz, but Ferrari make too many mistakes at this level. If they want to fight for the drivers, they had the car this season. They just didn't neutralise it, capitalise. Lewis Hamilton, 4. Um, four. Wow. Um, yeah. Wow. Very average by Lewis's standards. Um, not a good season at all. Um, no wins. Beaten by a rookie teammate in George. There's not many positives to take. The excuses, the PR nonsense. Um, George and me don't have the same car. I'll arch my back at Baku. It was a poor season by Lewis Hamilton standards. Probably never recovered from Abu Dhabi. Then we saw the real Lewis Hamilton step up mid-season. Loads of podiums. A couple of times he got close to a win. America and Zanvoort. But a poor season by Lewis's standards. And that is the first time in Formula 1 that he's not won a race. Like during the season. George Russell, 10. It's got to be 10. His first season with Mercedes, consistent, beats a seven-time champion, wins a race. I mean, you can't really say much more than that. Consistency at the highest level, his first win at Brazil. His low point was probably the crash at Silverstone, but very consistent. Fernando Alonso, 9. Lots of retirements for Fernando this season. He finishes ninth in the drivers on 81. But Alpine did secure fourth in the constructors. Alonso will move to Aston Martin in 23. Esteban Ocon, 10. Absolutely 10. This guy's been absolutely outstanding. And he doesn't get the credit he deserves because he's French. I'll say it straight down the camera. He's beat Fernando Alonso, a two-time champion. Put some respect on Esteban Ocon's name. He finishes P8 with 92. A, a sensational season by Ocon. Really stepped up. 
And yeah, he doesn't get the credit because he's French. Yeah, he's beat a two-time champion there. Wow. Maybe he'll be the number one for Alpine next year. Lando Norris, 10. He's carried McLaren on his shoulders all season. Best of the rest. Consistent. Finishes 7th, 122. He's done everything he can this season. And that's why I give him 10. Um, I'm not a massive fan of him. I don't think he's champion material. But credit's where it's due. If it wasn't for Norris, McLaren would have been dead in the water this season. Daniel Ricciardo, zero. A disgrace all year, really. And one of the worst drivers all year, really. I mean, the icing on the cake is when he gets sacked by McLaren. If he did delivered the points that Norris had, McLaren would have been fourth easy. He cost McLaren fourth in the constructors. And then that's why I give him zero. And he's come full circle to end back up at Red Bull where he started in the first place. Shambles. I'm glad he won't be on the grid next year. Yuki Tsunoda too. Very lucky to still be on the grid in 23. Um, yeah, his low point was back here where he was on for a great finish. Yuki Tsunoda, uh, serious questions need to be asked about him. Doesn't deliver in 23. Adios, son. Gasly, three. Alpha Tauri had a shocking season where they finished ninth in the Constructors. He moves to Alpine. Gasly still beats Sonoda, but by his standards, not a good season. Mick Schumacher, zero. Another one who's been sacked. Inconsistent. Points are there on the table and you never deliver. You never capitalise. Bottles it on a regular basis. Yeah, and he is sacked off the grid. Kevin Magnussen, seven, returned to the grid, uh, started really strong, scored good points. His highlight was obviously that pole at Brazil. And yeah, new teammate next year with Hulkenberg. Alex Albon, seven. Solid first year back by Alex Albon. I thought he would struggle at the start, but straight away he was beating Latifi then, of course, he's going to beat Latifi week in, week out. So, Albon just needs to do his job. Finished the season with four points. And, yeah, strong. Uh, solid first year back, I would say. Going to be interesting next year to see how he does against Sargent because Albon's got to... I mean, he's got to be beating these guys. Nicholas Latifi, zero. Of course, it's zero. Worst driver on the grid. He's sacked. He scored points at Japan somehow. I don't know how. I nearly fell off my chair. But yeah, one of the worst drivers we've ever seen in recent times. Sebastian Vettel, six. Retires from Formula One. Very sad, emotional. Drivers, he finishes 12th with 37. Probably one of his best races at season was US. He was on fire, overtaking everyone. was an emotional day when he retired. Lance Stroll, 5. A solid season. Uh, 15th in the drivers, 18. Yeah, Stroll, I would say an average season, so standard 5. Valtteri Bottas, 8. 49 points, a big reason Alfa Romeo finished 6. That is a strong season by Bottas, considering he's scored 49 and Guan Yu Zhou scored 6. Impressive. Guan Yu Zhou, five. First season in F1. Very average. Standard five. He's good in qualifying, but not that good in the races. So let's have the old countdown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we have it. Season ratings for the 22 season. And yeah, comment down below. This will always divide opinion. People are not going to agree. People will agree. Comment down below your thoughts. We give a detailed reason why we give that mark. Yeah. I try to be fair as possible. Um, yeah. Wonder if Ocon will get any respecting comments. Probably not. 